Oh, hey everybody, this is Norman. And Debbie. And it's week nine of the legislative session, and if you're counting, that's the last one. So we just want to do a rapid fire over all the bills we worked on this year, but if you want the full details, come to our report event. So we'll start with the age verification bill. The bill to keep kids off porn, House Bill 1257. We finally had a final vote on this, and it died on the Senate floor. Could not come to an agreement. Um, the Senate decided they wanted to just simply study the issue instead. So really disappointed to see that bill go down. We'll be publishing the votes and stuff here soon. But that was a big loss for something that we had really been working hard on. The bill that we saw go through finally was the bill to prohibit obscene performances on college campuses. Again, just clarifying that those will never happen here. The bill went through in a strong vote both sides. And then the signature removal bill passed this week and it passed the House strong. Um, in the Senate committee, it took on an amendment um, it kind of limited the, the time that people could remove their signatures and required them to get that notarized and not sent through email, but through registered mail or hand delivered. So it makes the process a little harder, but it's still doable. And that bill passed the Senate floor and went back and was concurred with in the House. So now it's at the governor's desk, which most of these bills are. <laughs> few education bills. First of all, the Partners in Education donation increased from 3.5 to 5. The allowable donations passed through finally on some really strong votes to God to see that get across the line. And then the school choice bill, the bill that would have implemented full-scale school choice here in South Dakota, died in a committee. They attempted to smoke it out on the floor, wasn't successful, so that bill died a pretty quick death, unfortunately. And then the ACT, the, or the bill that would have uh, required the ACT test instead of the smarter t balance test for juniors. That was a bill we testified against the first week of session because we had some problems with parental rights. That bill was tabled, but they're able to do the same thing in rules without the, the risk to parental rights. Right. And we didn't see a homeschool attack this year. Yay! Let's have a party about that. <laughs> there was no bills. Uh, we, yeah, we were worried that there would be some bad bills that would go after homeschoolers, but we had such an awesome day at the Capitol with homeschoolers, the homeschool day at the Capitol, and that was the day that the... Coincidentally, the, the, they decided Ed, Ed not to Lobby let us know that, don't worry, we're not going to bring any bills. So yeah. thank you to all the homeschoolers for showing up. Your voice matters. Next, we'll talk about video lottery. First, there was an attempt to increase the bet limit and win potential. Um, the sponsor didn't get enough support behind the scenes, so he just asked that to be tabled in the first committee, so we were glad we didn't have to fight that bill. Another representative wanted to have video lottery local control, where municipalities and cities could opt out of having video lottery if they wanted to. But again, the sponsor tabled his own bill there because he didn't feel like it was quite ready to go. And then there were two terrible abortion bills that we were fighting. One was withdrawn by the sponsor before it was in committee, the other one died in the first committee. Um, then there were two good pro-life bills that we supported. Uh, one is the medical education bill that requires the Secretary of Health to, to create a video that educates the healthcare professionals on what our abortion laws are and what they can do and not do regarding the life of the mother. Um, and then there's an, a, there was an abortion resolution that just stated that the legislature is opposed to the amendment where they're collecting signatures that would allow abortion right up to birth. And that one passed overwhelmingly. Yeah. Switching topics again, we'll talk about the Help Not Harm walk back. A few senators wanted to, remember last year we passed Help Not Harm, this is you can't do chemical castrations or gender surgeries on minors. This would have said you could do the chemical castrations if the parents signed the paperwork. So we were glad to see that die in the first committee. A um, couple other bills related to marriage. First, a representative wanted to repeal no-fault divorce. We know that, that what that's done to culture. It's not just that law that changed culture's opinion of divorce, but it really set us down the wrong path. Reagan said it was one of his biggest regrets of his political career. A representative wanted to have that discussion. We were glad to have it. And another representative wanted to move the marriage age up to 18 and say that it's illegal to get married under 18, even though the age of consent is lower than that. So it really can it would have put in a discongruence in our statute where it's saying essentially you can get together at 16 but you can't get married till you're 18. So we're glad to see that go down as well. And then there was a bill on healthcare sharing ministries that would have put a whole lot of extra regulations on these. So we were glad to get behind and try to kill that bill. It did die in the first committee and we were grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And the doula bill. Oh, the doula bill, yeah. That was a bill that we got behind because it really supported moms and babies. 
and um, it was just going to provide Medicaid coverage for doulas. And the Department of Social Services asked that that bill not be brought, uh, be put in statute, but they, they would like to work on that in their own rules process. So that bill was withdrawn by the sponsor and I went to the first meeting, the Department of Social Services is already working on implementing that. It will take them several meetings to, to work out the whole program, but we're very happy to say that it, it should be within a year or so that doulas are able to be Medicaid providers. Mm -hmm. A couple more bills. First of all, was one that was dealing with people who remove protection partway through intercourse without the consent of the other party. Um, and that's clarifying that, that should be a crime. What we saw is that it's already a crime in South Dakota law, but our big concern was that it introduced a new term into code. It would have been non-consensual pregnancy. And what would be the legal ramifications of that? Nobody knew, but it would have been the wrong direction. So we were glad to see that bill die on the House floor. And another bill to introduce a bunch of new protected classes into our code, people that are already protected, but the definitions were very troublesome, had a lot of free speech implications, religious liberty implications, et cetera. So we were glad to see that bill go down as well. So those are all the bills we worked on this legislative session and the bill we were glad to see that never came. Um, so if you want to hear all the details of these and hear the behind the scenes story, join us March 27 in Sioux Falls, April 2nd in Rapid City for our legislative report events. Um, we'll give you all the full details on these. And one final thing I've got to let you know about, this is the worst part of today's video, is that this is Debbie's last video as a lobbyist with us with Family Voice. After this year, she's retiring to be a full-time grandma, so all I'm going to pretend to hold it against her, <laughs> we can't blame her for being a full-time grandma, right? So this is Debbie's last mm -hmm. weekly report with us. So Debbie, you've been a great friend. You've been such an awesome mm -hmm. partner to work with. So be sure to give Debbie a thank you and we'll see you at the report events, guys. Well, I want to tell Norman thank you because it's been awesome working with him. You guys have a wonderful executive director at Family Voice and it's been my honor and privilege to work with him and work work with you for these values that are so important. It's been great to have you. We'll see you in a few weeks, guys. Join us at our events. Bye.